Hi guys, what's up? Welcome everyone. The last match of the ESI PUBG tournament series. The competition is so intense. So for the last match, the results from the last match, including all the five matches, Spartans stands top of the table with 115 points. And next, the team home, not a much difference, 109 points. And the third place goes to NOTs. We never expected NOTs will come to the top of the table. And fourth place, the Rocket team. Rocket team uh, didn't have a good game last match. I hope uh, they have something new for this match. And the fifth position, Mambosa. Let's wait and watch. Will these positions stay the same or it's gonna vary? And there comes Team Womb, spotted the enemy and knocked him with a nade. Jarvis is so rapid. His reflex is so fast. And Spartans and Team Worms going head to head. They're pushing. And all the team mates of uh, I'm a team members of Worm team already have a decent amount of weapon and loot. And will Spartans fight them? Oh, they just knocked out Nyx. Are they trying to escape? Oh my bad. They just left Nyx. Nyx is one of a good player of Spartan's team. They know if they're gonna go back, that's gonna be a bad idea. So it's a sacrifice they have to make. So that's a bad start for Spartans. Let's see how they're holding up this match. So most of the teams didn't land outside the zone this time. It's only like four teams. The NOT Psychos and the Arminius and the B4Ls are outside the zone. And B4Ls there. Get the board. Can you believe the B4L boys? Just surfing around the board. Where are they going? Are they going to the North Pole? I don't think so. These guys. No loot. Not even a single pistol. Where are they going? Are they going to the Bermuda Triangle? Oh, she. No idea. The NOTs, I think they have a, a decent start. A single kill for the team. They have all the decent loot. Milta is pretty much free. No enemies for them. Oh, hates you. We never noticed. Hates you lost three teammates. And it's a bad start for Par Spartas. They just. Lost the Kratos and Nyx, one of the good players for the team. And there comes our Team Rocket. What are they doing? Oh, they're in a prison. They just found the Wolf's card. What are they going to do? They don't know that one of the teammates on top of the mountain. Did they knock him? Wolf Sanjay. Yes, he is knocked. I 
And here comes the masala. Masala just knocked out. Darsh. Will Sanjay is also dead. Can they kill the rest of the wolf team? And there are two guys. Wolf's Fadil. Wolf's Fadil, he just tried so hard to keep his team alive in the first match, even though he lost his three teammates. I think Fadil will do something good. And that is corrupted Modi. He knows they're gonna come out, so he has covered the terrace of the building. I think they can push. Indian Masala can give a try. Man of skill, he won't get knocked out. But then it's 1v2. It's a pretty much complex situation. And they have a DP and a vector. And there comes Indian Masala. Mori should have stayed there. Bad move. Fadil gets knocked out. Bad move, bad move. And that's a pretty decent start for Team Rocket with 4 kills. This one has a killy suit. Okay, let's have a look at Spartas. Noxus. Will the Spartas go for the crate? Will they risk their lives going for a supply drop? Or they're gonna play with the loot they find? The zone has started, but NOTs they are still out, B4L they are out, the Mambosa what they are doing, they have no idea. Didn't they notice the zone is shrinking too fast this time? Mambosa. They had a nice match in the morning. Will they give a comeback again for a chicken dinner? We don't know yet, but they are staying out in the zone, it's a bad. With my expertise, the zone of this kind, staying in Severny or uh, somewhere between the Severny and Rozog, it's gonna help them because that where the zone will come. Because it, you notice two crates, one on the Stabler and one adjacent to Severny, I mean in the shooting range, the zone will be of uh, that side. So, the Spartans, I think they knew this. If I'm right, they'll go to Severny and they're gonna camp there and wait for the enemies to come and let's see what's going on here. There's a lot of teams here. Just go for a bird's eye view. He hates you here. Psycho team has just camped that house over there. 
Mafia attack, yeah, Shaggy. Three teams Arminius Wolves bought to out of the league. Hates you. Just lost three teammates. Wow. Sambom Kaikil. This just cost uh, five kills. What is this guy doing? Psychos, did they notice this Sambavam team? I think yes. Shaggy just noticed and Psycho Killer is just going. What is Psycho Killer doing? He's trying to get a better angle, I guess. It's a bad move. I mean, a holographic for a long sight. Psycho Killer. Even a Conqueror. Even for a Conqueror, that's pretty difficult. What is Psycho Joker doing? They should move away from that pretty little house, the team number 7, the Sambavum. Else, you see Psycho Joker is going around the building to get a better shot. And they are coming back with a defense strategy. Psycho Joker is not ready to leave the team number 7. He's desperate for kills, I guess. And these guys, they know they're being pushed and they're ready to face it. Let's look at the zone. The zone shrink pretty little fast. And Mambosa, they're still fighting for the zone instead of fighting with the enemies. And Envoti, I think Envoti got stuck up with Mambos. But Envoti can manage Mambosa because they are pretty much showed aggressive gameplay in the first match in the morning. Team Womb, and that's a fight. I know. And they just found, spotted, NOT, but they don't have scope. Yet, Wusne just knocked out Vanya, and Pratik just left the teammate because that's the right thing to do at this time instead coming for a revival. I think they're gonna. Okay, they're not going to do what I was expecting. And Sparta's right, what I said, they just took care of Severny and they're waiting for the enemies to show up. And there's come the Hutch's team, they don't know the Sparta's are already camped Severny. And that's a bad luck for them, bad move. One guy got knocked out. Who's that? It's Hatches Flash. I think he's the main player for the team. And who knows? 
they are not ready to revive Hatch's flash. Danger Prithiv is doing a different strategy. Hatch's Divya, what is she doing? And there goes a nade ring. Oh, nice one. Will the nade knock Swadas? No. Oh, she got M249 and a head of Liam. M249 is good, but for a uh, close range, uh, it is good, but uh, the reload time is pretty bad. Danger Prithiv just got knocked out by Spartans. That's just Divya, she can't do it. I think she should go for a vantage point, so she, uh, she could make use of that AWM. Instead fighting like this. Bad aim. Can't help it bro. So what is Mambosa doing? Still outside the safe circle? Who is he trying to get inside the zone? See, they're just playing so safe all through the series. They don't even want to engage with enemies and get some kills. Ghost just spotted an enemy. He's creating a smoke shield. But oh, that's Mambosa. They don't have snipers. One of mine, just healing. And they have a M24. Can they make use of an M24? And knocks the opponents. Still Mambos are outside the zone, fighting for the zone. They should take care of the zone. They should take the zone little seriously because I don't think they have a vehicle or something. Do they have a vehicle? Yeah, they have a vehicle, but they should move so fast. Mara man knocked outside the zone. They can't do anything right now. Reviving him is a bad idea. They have to sacrifice Mara man. Can they able to get into the zone? That's a big question mark. And Psycho Joker team, they're just engaging with the enemy instead of getting inside the zone. What are they doing? You can't do it. Shaggy, it's a bad move. With nine teams left, that's a bad move. Psycho team. I thought you people are real psychos, but... This time you are morons. I'm sorry. That's the main zone. Worse, he made it to the safer place. E4L is there. Spartans are there. Team Rocket. Team Womb. What do you viewers think? Will Spartans get a hat trick chicken dinner? Or is it gonna be Team Womb? What's it gonna be? B4L They're desperate for kills Trying to tag ORC But B4L badass He's on the verge of getting knocked out ORC, I've never seen such a team playing so defensive They are getting in fights The team home. 
What do they got? They got nine kills. That's a huge plus because this team never care about ethics of the game. They always exhibit their unorthodox gameplay, which always fetch them a lot of kills. That helps them to stay on the top of the table. There comes Team Rocket. Are they getting knocked? No, it's a bad move. The team has just split apart. Are they attacking the hard heavily? Spartans have just split. That's a, one of the good moves. But Team Rocket is expecting their arrival. They just knocked out. The Spartan just got knocked. Aki is not gonna make into the zone. Even if he stays inside, the teammate can't come and revive him. This game is gonna be a crucial decider of the winner of the series. Team Rocket, Modi just got knocked. Only Yesh is remaining. Team Worm just got a beautiful place. They got a huge cover. The guys in the open can't tag them. Spartans, they're just using a smoke shield. And the Mambosa. Are they Mambosa guys? No, they're the B4L. But Kisne J, he just got stuck inside the shelter. And before all, no, he has to come out of the shelter if he wants to survive. Will he come? Kisne is the only hope for Mambosa. And he went for Spartan, Vinoxis. Is of only hope for Spartans. As Spartans already top of the table, they just don't want to lose now. At least the position will get them some points. And Indian Masala and yes, they both got out, out of the game. B4L strongly ambushing Team Worm. Can they do it? Can they knock Team Worm? Team Worm just knocked B4L. They're going strong. Guys, these guys seem invincible. Are they even hacking? I don't believe it. Look at their moves. They know how to evade the bullets. One of the best team of the series. Let's see. Can they win this game? Spartans. Vinoxis. Last man standing for the Spartans team. Kisne. Whoa! Vinox has just found Kisne's place and he can't escape. The crucial situation for Team Mambosa. Team Womb, they know anyhow they're gonna win this match or something. And Jesus ambushing Spartans. Vinox is. Oh, bad luck. Bye bye, Mambosa. And the match has ended. We know who's the winner. It's Team Womb. Are they going to win the series? Let's wait for the result. Anyways, congratulations to all the teams for effectively participating and make this tournament a big success. Signing off, Ulash from the casting team.